Mr. President, Joe, I want to thank you for coming here today and for the unequivocal support you have given Israel during these trying times, a support that reflects the overwhelming will of the American people. I've seen your support every day in the depth and breadth of cooperation that we have had since the beginning of this war, a level of cooperation that is truly unprecedented in the history of the great alliance between our two nations. Terrorist group Hamas has slaughtered, as been pointed out, over 1,300 people, and is not hyperbole to just slaughtered, slaughtered, and uh, including 31 Americans as part of that. And uh, they've taken scores of people hostage, including children. You said, imagine what those children hiding from Hamas were thinking. It's beyond my comprehension to be able to imagine what they're thinking. Beyond my comprehension. They're committed evils that, uh, and atrocities that uh, make ISIS look uh, somewhat more rational. You know, uh, Americans are grieving with you. They really are. And Americans are worried. Americans are worried because we know there's a, this is not an easy field to navigate, what you have to do. But uh, the fact is that Israel, as they respond to these attacks, it seems to me that uh, have to continue to ensure that you have what you need to defend yourselves. And uh, we're going to make sure that occurs, as you know. And we have to also bear in mind that Hamas does not represent all the Palestinian people. And uh, it has brought them only suffering. Uh, um, I was deeply saddened and outraged by the uh, explosion at the hospital in Gaza yesterday. And based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not, not you. I want to say to the people of Israel, their courage, their commitment, their bravery is, uh, is stunning. It's really stunning. I'm proud to be here. Thank you.